OK, in this example, we want to find this shaded region, which is bounded between a straight line, so a straight chord, and the curve y is equal to 4 over x to the 5 quarters. OK, so I'm immediately thinking to myself, well, uh, if I think back to the previous examples, then it makes sense that I would be looking at the area of this trapezium and then I would subtract the area between the curve and the x-axis. And that area I can calculate using integration. So if I look for this blue area first, I would be integrating 4 over x to the 5 quarters, dx, between 1 and 16. So I can't integrate it like that. Okay, I don't want this 4 over x to the 5 quarters business. I want it as 4 times x to the power of something. So I am going to instead write this as 4 times x to the minus 5 quarters. And now it's in a position, I'm in a position where I can integrate it. So add 1 to the power, and I get minus a quarter. Divide by the new power. OK, and that's evaluated between 1 and 16. Now, 4 over minus a quarter is minus 16. So I'm going to write that as minus 16, x to the minus a quarter, evaluated between 1 and 16. So we're going to substitute 16 in first, OK? So we get minus 16 times by 16 to the power of minus a quarter which is minus 8. Then I substitute in 1. I get minus 16 times 1, so just minus 16. So I have minus 8 take away minus 16, which is minus 8 plus 16, which gets me 8. So the blue region, blue shaded region, actually has an area of 8. OK. So now... I want to find the area of that trapezium. The area of the trapezium, take away 8, will give me the area that I want. But in order to find the area of the trapezium, I need to know the heights of these two uh, sides. So when x is 1, I can substitute 1 into this, and I get 4 over 1, so this is 4. And when x is 16, I can substitute 16 into that. I have 4 over 16 to the power of 5 quarters. And that gets me 1 eighth. So the area of the trapezium is 1 half times the width of the strip, which is 1 to 16, so 15, times by uh, this side, so 4, plus that side, which is an eighth, and then subtract the area of, well, the blue region, OK, the area underneath the curve. So we have 1 half times 15 times 4 plus an eighth, then take away 8. And that gets me 367 over 16, OK, which is exactly 22.93. 75. Okay? And that is the shaded region that I was looking for.